change your way of thinking, and you'll change your entire world. Fill yourself up with joy, love, and certainty before you give yourself to another. Take care of you first. Listen to the silence within by using your spiritual ears. When the still small voice whispers, you need to hear it. Send out a million vibes of expectation and wait. Then watch what happens. Be conscious of what's coming. Little signs will show you the way. Your new life is just around the corner. Be still. Stillness comes from going into ourselves. The solitude that rests within is where we find ourselves. Live a life of expectation. Focus only on what you want, not on the things you don't want. Feel the state of mind you desire. Feel it as though it were a reality, because it is real in the future. At this moment, you are creating your future with every thought you think and every act you make. What you dwell on, what you think about, what consumes you will come. Whether good or bad, be conscious of your thoughts. Think what you want, and it will reveal itself as truth. Your thoughts are a powerhouse of attraction. How we do things is the result of how we think about things. Your inner thoughts reveal your outer world. Remove the negatives and make space for the positives. We think, then we act. We think of it first, then we make it tangible and real. Think of the artist who sees an image, then paints it. That's what we do in our lives. Our subconscious mind is activated by every sensation, every feeling. Make those feelings positive and disregard the negative. Our lives are lived from within and are manifested to the outer world. We need to open our eyes because we are infinite. William Blake said, if the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear as it is, infinite. Everything we've ever wanted is right here and now. It is eternal. It is here in the present. The present is perfect. Make this moment the best moment you've ever lived. Be the best version of yourself. Be the best you can be because you are the best. Get rid of fear. Abandon it. Banish it. Burn it. Fear has no strength here. Fear is false evidence, appearing real. God cares for you more than you'll ever know. God is the fear neutralizer. God loves us personally. His love is unconditional. We are forever within His presence. We must tune our entire being be so certain of what we want that nothing can shake our focus. Ask for and act on your request with the expectation that what you ask for is coming into your life today. Visualize it. See it over and over again. The past is gone. Move on. 
whatever you did there stays there. Don't dwell on the past. The past is gone forever and it will never return. Ever. Ask yourself how you feel at this very moment about your life. Ask yourself who you want to become. You will get an answer. Go to sleep with the expectation that tomorrow the genie of your soul will grant you your wish. You are Aladdin and your lamp is your faith. Be in tune with your surroundings the way a radio wave blankets the earth. Notice those around you. The answers you are seeking are coming. Maintain the vision you have of your goals and live as if you've already achieved them. Meditate on them. The solution to your problems is you. You have all the tools within you to change your life and make it whatever you want it to be. The most important job in the world is your maintenance and protection of you. You need you. Energy is abundant. It is everywhere. It is drawing you towards your goal because you sent out the signal. The signal is a canvas that stretches from one end of the universe to the other. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It just changes shape and form. We are eternal. What you are thinking and feeling today is creating your future self. What you were thinking and feeling in the past created who you are today. Change your thinking today so that your future self will thank you for it. Stop competing. Create. Competition is a low vibration frequency. Creation is your higher self. Trust in God. Believe in God. Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Think of what you want to be not what you don't want to be. Dwelling on love produces love. Dwelling on happiness produces happiness. Time is an illusion. It doesn't exist. All things are eternal. We live in eternity. There is no past. There is no future. There is only the here and now, and even that is fleeting. Whatever you dream about, what you dwell upon in the future is already here in the eternal ocean of existence. Manifest money, manifest health, manifest the partner of your dreams. It all starts with you. Decide you want it and it will come to you. All you have to do is say you want it and it's yours. Visualize what you want. Visualize it with intensity. Visualize it and pray with the vision in mind. See it and you will be it. What we imagine ourselves to be, we become. Imagine yourself great and you will become great. Never underestimate the power of visualization. Master yourself. Control yourself. Don't let your thoughts influence or corrupt you. Do whatever it takes to master your thoughts. Be born again. Reinvent yourself. Whatever you want, it's already yours. Whatever you need, it's already yours. Imagine for a moment that your inner genie has granted you your wish. Feel yourself as already achieving whatever it is you set out to get. What does it feel like? We are a world of magnets attracting like-minded people. The law of attraction is constantly at work. Keep the thoughts of what you want and need and crave and desire. 
Make it so clear in your mind that you can taste it and feel it and smell it and be it. Thoughts are the ship for which we travel to our destination in the vast ocean of manifestation. Love yourself enough to draw in what you desire. Draw it in now. Change your thoughts if you want to change your life. Change the channel. Change the frequency. Change your mind's eye. Change everything about yourself. Be someone new. Think about what you want. Don't think about what you don't want. When you think about what you want, you get what you want. When you think about what you don't want, you get that too. Before you rise out of bed in the morning, see yourself as achieving whatever it is you aim to do that day. Before your feet hit the floor, thank God for everything you have today and what you will have tomorrow. Let go. Stop trying to be in control. There's so much in life that is beyond our control. Focus on what you can control instead. Everything that came before this moment was preparing you for the here and now. All the struggles, all the pain made you stronger. You can handle anything. Our thoughts create our reality. How we think alters our reality. Change your thoughts and you change your life. Change your world and you change the universe. If the image is in your mind, you will hold the thing in your hands. Believe. The universe was created by a single thought. Therefore, the universe is a thought that God manifested into being. We are thoughts in the image of God. We are millions upon millions of energy magnets attracting to each other. Everything and everyone are connected. We are one. 